Kim Myers here with the one and only Lloyd Bonifield talking about Star Wars Force Awakens. If you haven't seen it, go fucking check it out. The greatest movie of 2015. It's a beautiful, it's the Citizen Kane of our generation. Citizen Kane, what is that? Uh, Citizen Kane kids, was, to tell the kids what, what, you know, they don't know what Citizen Kane uh, is. Citizen Kane was a movie about a, a, a billionaire who um, uh, basically uh, wanted to uh, mount the world and rape it. Which is a lot like Star Wars. A right? lot, lot like Star Wars, like like Snoke, which I hate the name, by the way. So, so Lloyd, tell me, yes. going into the highly anticipated biggest film of, of the year and mm-hmm. possibly the past 20 years, Yep. what were you feeling going into the movie and then coming out? Were you disappointed? Oh no! Were, were you fulfilled with every satisfaction? Well, first let me. Uh, going into the movie, I was stoned because me and you had uh, <laughs> taken we that, did. some pot candy. Pot candy. Um, but uh, it other was than more that, delicious. It's very delicious. Uh, Better from, for the viewing, you know. Was it from Denver? No, that was. That, I think that was made here. That was a. Yeah, home, it was that was a homegrown. Homegrown. Uh, Chicago homegrown. Uh, Chicago homegrown candy. Grown candy. Uh, uh, it was a confection, a sweet home yeah. Chicago yeah. confection. Yeah, it was Fannie uh, Mae, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I grew up with Star Wars, so uh, <laughs> growing, going to see Star Wars uh, with you, forty-eight years later from the original <laughs> one. It was yep. fantastic. Yep. I'm 38. I don't even know how I saw the original one. In the I, I didn't. I'm 30, so I yep. didn't see it. But we all know we love Star Wars. We grew up with it. I saw. Uh, so so excited to see it, and then being in the whole experience of cosplay and people being there dressed up as characters. Oh, it was fantastic! It was the best fucking experience on opening it was fantastic. night. Fantastic! Yeah. You know these tickets were sold out months before it even came out. Mm-hmm. Like going into the theater, we're just super stoked to be there, and it just blew my mind. Just hearing people cheer. <laughs> People are like applauding before it even like started. It was yeah. just like the trailers before, and then it starts. You know, the yeah. opening letters. In, in our theater, we only had two trailers, which which kind of surprised me. It like went right into the movie. I know. And I was like, whoa, whoa I, here I, we go. I was used, yeah, I was waiting for like ten or fifteen trailers. Oh, yeah. like I usually do, and it starts. I sat like up in my seat. In a galaxy. Oh, yeah. uh-huh, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm like, that, that squirts opens, a little tear. Can we give the spoilers? Anymore? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, so it's been out for spoilers, a while. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, you're retarded. Yeah, if you haven't seen it um, and you can't afford a ticket, go beat up some kid who, who bought a ticket. Or you can accidentally download it illegally online. Yeah. Which I may have done. But it's easier to, 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 to push a, a 14-year-old into a broom closet and take his ticket and lock the door. That's true. That's way easier. Way that, easier. That is way easier. Yeah, we'll get, you know, arrested for it by, you know, the FBI. But hopefully they don't show up until after. Until after you saw the movie. After you saw the movie, because that's right. worth it. <laughs> that's worth it. They'll find that poor kid with tears in his eyes. Yeah. But um. Anyways, back that to opening the- scene with that with the star destroyer when it when it just comes in and blots out the planet. Yeah. And then and then the music starts up and the four ships come over the top. Shit, dude, oh, it's giving me goosebumps was, right now just thinking about awesome. it. Awesome. The score, the cinematography. Okay, here I, I had a problem with Mad Max and the Fury Road, and I know everyone loves it, and I love it too. I know good things about it. The thing I liked about the other Mad Max movies were, you know, you got to know some of the characters. It right. was a little slower paced and everything like that. In the newer version, was just straight out cocaine fueled action. Fucking from straight. The beginning then. It was. Right? And this was, is similar. Full of adrenaline. Full of adrenaline. Just like edge your seat. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, I just did a whole bunch of coke. Let's do this. And that's exactly what it, it felt like watching Mad Max. In this, it was action beginning to end, yet there was a familiarity. <laughs> we have. It always got me. There was, there was a familiarity uh, with the characters that, that where it took us in our imagination. Right. We're, we're, we had familiarity with uh, yeah, people, with Mad Max. They're, they're, still. Right, with Star Wars, people of the old generation meets new generation. Mm-hmm. You, you can be a kid not knowing much about it, but go in and get a sense of the overall premise, the overall feel of what they're going for, the overall, you know. JJ's what? Well, JJ J. J. Abrams is, is a person that grew up with the films. Yep. And crafted his own masterpiece, you know. You may say, Dude, he he was he his first thing he did, which got the attention of Steven Spielberg, was taking Steven Spielberg's homemade or home movies and editing them and, and turning them into movies. Exactly, From things he filmed, he went and made little yeah. little vignettes or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And That's he has, cool. yeah, he has such he a. Knows what he's doing. He is probably one of the best directors in the business, not mm-hmm. the top. Four, you know, he's just a smart guy. He's he knows, a smart guy. He's a he's he knows his shit. How pissed was George Lucas? 
He's very pissed. Have you seen the interviews lately? Yeah, it's like, in the past yeah. like six months. Oh my god. He's like a jaded. He's on the red carpet. The red Star Wars oh, yeah. red carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cunt. Yeah, he's uh, a jaded uh, Yeah, you know, whatever. I guess I'll be here. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, whatever. I'm George Lucas. Fuck yeah. off. I don't care. But it's not only that. It's, it's, here's the problem with George Lucas. I just saw something on Facebook today about... Um, What's that? Uh... If you, you could rewatch the prequel trilogies and see that Obi Wan was in love with Padme, you see that Padme, yeah. yep. Skywalker, and um, and I'm like, you know what? That, it's a great theory, right? It may, and maybe even JJ could write something in there that that Ray is somehow Padme's love child or some bullshit, yeah. you know, whatever bullshit they got going, you know, not Padme or his love child because that would be her grandmother. Um, but um, the thing was, um, George Lucas didn't have any subtext in his, in those three movies. Right. You know, he starts off with the kid, so we we don't get to see him grow as a character. Which which Luke we got to see from a kid. They just dressed him young. Yeah. He was a kid, and he and he, as he evolves, he evolves and becomes a badass motherfucker in, in yeah. part three. Yeah. You know, in All in Black, which is awesome. I you love see the progression. I love Return of the Jedi, by the way, a lot of people hate it. Oh yeah, I love. Uh, you know, obviously, Empire Strikes when Back is his my green favorite. Lightsaber? That green lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. We're we're getting bombarded right now. Yeah. We got hecklers in the side, but yeah, Empire Strikes Back, but, right? But, the Return of the Jedi is. But that's the thing. Phenomenal. Like, why didn't George put that, put something like that into the story? Why not? Why not give it some subtext? Why? Why? Where was the anger between Obi Wan and Anakin? Because that's we that, needed something, a fuel, something to ignite the fire. There was nothing that ignited that, though. That's what was missing. They tried to show that Palpatine was a great manipulator and stuff. Right. Okay. It would have been great if there was actually something to work with. Exactly. You know, something. I don't know. It, 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 JJ nailed it with. With um, the new Star Wars movie, it, yeah, it, it's set up for we, so okay. much shit to we, learn about. We get it. George Lucas, Star Wars is his baby. Mm-hmm. He's a creator. He started it all up, and then he fucking, you know, then the the newest three movies. What happened to him is what happens to a lot of people. They, they can't time, sustain. There's such a big time difference. They from, just can't sustain creativity. Is get, what happens. And when you Some get lazy people. and and you start. Getting less creative and not using the animatronic. Surround, surrounding yourself with yes men. Yes men and people that are just like, hey, we can cut on the budget by doing all the shitty CGI. Yeah. It didn't have that feel. They didn't have the, the puppetry, the animatronics I that JJ brought back in the newest. I wouldn't mind movie. doing all the CGI yeah. if there was a fucking story to follow. You know what I mean? If there was a story, you could, you could. I've seen cartoons with great stories. We're had nothing real in if it. There's there's no no writing, if there's no writing, if there's no writing, there's no directing, the movie is going to be fucking shit. What do the actors have to play with? They want to blame all these actors and those personality actors. Well, we'll get it this way. All, the, all, all the, return, the returning actors that come back, they read the script. They know there's something special there, you know? Yeah. They wouldn't sign on to do it yeah. if it wasn't right. Exactly. And that's why this movie exactly. does it for me. What did you like? What did you like the best As a Star Wars fan, I meant everything, you know, like the... The writing was there, the directing was there, bringing in new characters we don't know anything about that really stole the show, you know? You have these little characters that were phenomenal. Molly, what did you think of Star Wars? The, new, the, the new characters... It was great. The newest, <laughs> the newest characters like, brought, brought something special, you know? Yeah, no, I think so too. You're... So, so what I like about it is bringing these new characters in that we don't, don't know anything about. They basically, you know... Who's your favorite? My favorite? Whew. New character. New character? I like Kylo Ren a lot. I thought he Kylo was, was, he was fucking phenomenal. Adam Driver's an amazing actor. I love him in Girls. He can do a lot of different parts in this movie. You know, even without the mask on, he was scared me, I thought. Oh, I mean, it was kind of whiny, but he was, he was, he was seeing somebody, something villainous behind him. When I saw it the second time in the theater, he took off the mask and some lady, like a few rows back, goes, Oh my god, he's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Put the mask back on. But yeah, it just... He's he, great in girls. He was such His a great... temper tantrums he throws in girls. See the thing where he's like hitting the radio? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> he's I a great actor. He's a door down I would have, movie. So yeah, I would have to go Kyle Ren. He was my favorite. Uh, John Boyega's fan was great, you know. I like that Maz uh, Jabroni, what was her name? That's a stand-up comedian. Maz, uh... Matt, yeah, I don't know. Matt's not gonna work here anymore. Maz Tanaka or whatever. Maz Tanaka, yeah. Something, I don't know what her name. She was awesome. But yeah, Kylo Ren is the best part of that movie. Yeah, he like, fucking he stole was, it. Oh my god. When I, <coughs> you know, when 
like halfway it was the second act and Han Solo comes out, you know, obviously. Under the bridge. Yeah, under the bridge. Under the bridge. You know something's coming. You feel that fucking pressure, you know. Something something's in there, something's not right. Which was ruined for me on Facebook, by the way. See, I didn't I, I didn't I knew it was happening. I didn't read moment. anything. Oh I didn't I didn't even have to read it. Somebody put a picture of it all. And I was like, I knew somebody was gonna die. And I had a feeling it was Han Solo, which is my favorite character of all Star Wars, obviously. I don't think he would have done the movie if if he um, didn't. Yeah. Because he was really wanted, he really wanted the character to die for for Robbie Pass. You know, honestly, I thought it was was a good way to go out for Han Solo, his Mm -hmm. own son, you know, him and Princess Leia had a kid. Ben, Ben, you know. Ben. Ben. Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi. Or Ben Solo. But but just named yeah. after Ben Kenobi. Yeah, named after ah. Ben Kenobi. And, you know, it just worked. And, uh, you know, killing off a huge character that's such a big part of, of the saga is like saying something, you know? Like, yeah. J.J. has the balls to get rid of this famous part of the, you know, this the most, it, the best parts of the, the series. So, it also seems like J.J.'s following, which people kept saying that, that it was just a remake of part four, which it wasn't. Yeah. But, but right. followed similar themes. It did. You got my lighter? F- following similar themes? I'll forget it if I don't no, go I'm back. <laughs> um, um, if following similar themes, so in part two, that would mean there would have to be a devastating reveal. Yes. Like, Luke, I am your father. So if he's following those patterns, which I believe he is, yeah. Um, which I actually hope he. This is my my dream is how he opens up part two. Is do you remember in uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy when they show in I think it was the beginning of part three, Schmeagol. Schmeagol. How Schmeagol becomes. Um, yeah. How he. Was like, that part three or part two? I think that was part three. It's I been a too. while since so I watched. I, did, yeah, I think it is. But so, I, yeah. I like that that. Going backwards in the story, and I hope using some modern filming techniques, we go back and see what happened at the Jedi Temple or some backstory I got that we that's... get to actually see, as opposed to it being explained to us in narrative or yeah. Or explain. I, I want to see. I got a feeling they'll go that direction, but it's hard to say because each movie has different directors. I know. Yeah, we, we don't know. We you don't know, know. you know, when you have a different director, a different writer, it's going to bring a different element. A different which I love. Way, which is a good thing. Which was the problem with the prequels. But yeah, exactly. See, George could have fucked up that first one and given the other two away to somebody. Yeah. What happened? Why did he stop? Why did he? Why did he stop what he originally did in the first three? Yeah. Something went wrong. Yeah. Something went wrong. I just burped and it smells like tacos. It does. It does. <laughs> ketchup. I think it was Anonians? ketchup on my tie. I'm definitely on your taste. It. It's, it's in the air. It's thick. <laughs> it's thick. Um, I don't know. Anything else you want to talk about on this? Yeah, song? just overall, I fucking dug it. I love the shit out of it. It was everything I imagined it would be. It was, you know, that laser bolt stuff in the air. Bringing the old and the new together. Bring the old and new together in a flawless way. In a flawless and fun way. Except for the goddamn name Snow. Snow, yeah. I hate that Did name. Did you see the, the thing online about how it's Vader? How they like put the image like right next they to each other? They also said the it's dark, dark pages, but I don't think it's either one of them. Yeah, I don't think I didn't see there. It'd be no. too obvious. They're just kind of going Vader's off dead. of that, yeah. Vader's dead, and so is... So like, why the hell would he talk to the Vader's helmet if that was Snow? Well, here, here you know we go. I mean? Do you know how Luke saw Obi-Wan? Right. What if somehow Kylo is seeing... Fireball and Spider. Darth Vader. Why, why not? Why, why can't Sith or whoever also project Force ghosts? Why can't that be? But here's my problem with that. Here's, that's, that, that's here's the, the problem. Thing. Why can't it? Well, here's the problem then, is that Vader eventually turned good. In the end of the movie, was redeemed. Yeah. So when he come back as... But she did come back and George Lucas threw him in. <laughs> oh no, he was in the original like before they did, um, before George re-edited everything, remastered and remade all the special effects. Um, his father was there, waving to him, it was the old guy. And then and then George took the old guy out and put in yeah. fucking Hayden Christian. Hayden Christian, yeah. But still, he redeemed himself. So would he come back as an evil entity? entity? Or, like in the books, is there a holocron, or the Sith holocron? That's hard to say, you know? We don't know. We don't know. Because in, in the stories, the Sith holocrons work exactly like that, and the Jedi holocron 
where you talk to them. Just like you go, show me this, and then they, uh, uh, an image would pop up, like an avatar image, that had the ability to access different paths and stuff like that. Right. Like, a, like a choose your own adventure book. <laughs> Similar to that, I Page hope two. I hope we see some Jedi holocrons. I hope you know, there's something in there that's something. Cool. What if they did though? That would be fucking so I awesome. Hope so. I so awesome. hope so. So awesome. But yeah, basically the the whole film leading to the last part where we actually see Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. No dialogue. We got the lightsaber, and you know he kind of looks at it with the seductive eyes and the long gray hair. Yeah, and he looks like. Obi-Wan Kenobi, basically. Do you know that I hated that scene the first time when I saw it with you? Um, the scene with Luke. Because I thought he was like, like free to more to it. With, his, with his arms moving so yeah. dramatically and stuff. See, I, th- I wish they would have brought some dialogue into that, like something to, to tie it together. Well, and, they, think, and they just kind of left you hanging. Do you think that they're going to show um, side by side training? So Snoke training uh, Adam Driver and Luke training Ray? I, that would be awesome. Be That's why I got a feeling. Like, I think they will. I think they will. So what do you think? That, okay, what, what do you think the whole deal is with Rey? How was she part of this whole story? Do you think it's Skywalker? Luke Skywalker's daughter? Um, Rey, uh, I don't know. Good question. Um, That's one that's like kind of leaving everybody like... It looks like... like question it like... Luke how knows. She... Luke knows. Yeah, of course. I mean, knows. if anything, Luke knows what's going on. Maybe he saw the future, just like Obi Wan and Yoda said. Yeah. That with or Yoda said it, I think, is that you'd be able to see the past, the present, the future. Right. You know, in your dreams. Which, when Ray grabs the lightsaber, she sees the past, present, and future, just like a Charles Dickens fucking book. Yeah. You know, like like she sees, you know, she sees her childhood. She sees the truth of her child. Not only her childhood, which maybe she forgot about, but she saw the truth of it. Or kind of blocked it out from her At memory. least blocked it out with whatever time got in the way and 